Okay. So, the chicken came out of the oven. It's cooked. I just tried a piece. And it's still chewy. Now it's overcooked. We got the chicken right here. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. The lighting ain't very good in here, but. See if we can get a better angle here. That's what we're working with here. We got a couple pieces of chicken and a little bit of toast that I'm dunking in the gravy. Love the chicken. So, I'll just sit here and finish off the rest of this chicken. Which you guys can taste when tasting. It's almost like the chicken turned into jelly. It doesn't even make sense what I'm saying, but it's the only way I can describe it. Yeah, it's perfect now. Nothing like it. I stumbled across something here. This is like a new cooking technique. Turn your chicken into jelly. Jellied chicken. Basically what I did was I cooked it in a pan broth that I had made out of barbecue sauce, beer, um, garlic powder, pepper, and 
and butter. And then I put it on the grill and turn this color. I had like I left that on there for a while. I thought for sure it'd be on, but it wasn't. I'd say it took me a total of about three hours total to cook this. And I'm wondering if it's raw inside still, but oh no, that's good. That's good. I think. You never know with chicken, it's ridiculous. I put I had a lot of that broth left over. I was gonna make a soup out of it. But when I put it back in the oven I put it on top of it to marinate it some more. And see that charcoal? That was crunchy, but now it's like jelly. It's like nothing I've ever had before in my life. jelly chicken about three hour preparation time of course you cook it in a broth and then you grill it and then you pop that so those suckers in the oven I still feel like I'm eating raw chicken here but I don't care anymore I don't even care anymore taught me to clean the bones off of them chickens. So there's chicken in the, in the broth over there. Okay, I put it in the pan. There she is now. Okay, she's being fine. That's so good. There she is now. If you're all wondering what I did with the spots I had to pit, spit out, I fed them near the cat. Oh, that's a raw one. Oh, yeah, that's raw. Now it's going to the cat. Yep, so we got another. Yep, that's a piece of chicken there. This chicken, let's see. Hmm. Hi. How y'all doing? Get right on in there. Oops. 
Oops. Ate a little bit too fast. The gelatin stuff was like dangling down my throat. It could have been bad on my throat. I'm getting fuller. I don't think I can eat any more of this. Yep, this jelly chicken. I just invented. I can go and try it. Give it my own try, you know. If you got any questions, just send them on over in the comments. Let me know how it turned out. I'm telling you. This just may look like regular old chicken. It's hard to tell on the camera, but I'm telling you. That's the best chicken I've ever, and I've worked at barbecue joints where they barbecue that stuff up authentically. They smoke it overnight. Nothing better than a good old fashioned ghetto barbecue where you're just cooking that stuff, you know, within a couple hours on the grill. Smathering it up in barbecue sauce. They didn't even use barbecue sauce at the authentic barbecue place. It's supposed to be cooked by the smell. It wasn't even that good, but people swear by it. It always made my stomach hurt. But now this stuff. This good old fashioned backyard barbecue. Or the kind of barbecue you see down the, down the street cooked out of a gigantic barrel. It's a way to do it. That's the only way to do it, as far as I'm concerned. And if you, any of you like to come on over sometime, we can have a barbecue. Just invite your friends, you know. If you got any dogs or cats, you can bring them on over. Love to have you. We'll have a good time, you know. I live in downtown Akron. There's nothing to be scared of. Oh, you get the occasional gunshot ringing in the background. And it's nothing you don't get used to. See if I haven't had any problems. I haven't had any problems. Oh, except when I try to drive out <coughs> into the main street, out of my street, uh, that was sectioned off with caution tape, so I had to go around. And when I looked down on the other side, it was just all these people and cops turned out that night when I looked on the news some guy he killed his wife and buried her in the flower garden so that was crazy cool <laughs> that was not planned whoa <laughs> whoa well thanks for joining me on this round <laughs> Y'all take care now.